Now, probably you've been using game engines for a while, but do you know why actually engines should be used? Today I will dig deeper into this question. So of course, firstly, let's take a look at the advantages. And the first one is quite clear. Basically, all engines provide a user interface. So indeed, when you are using any kind of engine, you do get um, a pretty interesting UI that allows you to preview all your file system, that then the different scenes uh, that uh, you may have in your game, as well as the different components. Because maybe you have here, I don't know, your uh, main scene, okay? And then over here, you've got your menu, then your game over right here. Okay, so you can indeed visualize each segment of the game right here, okay? Because when you are using no engine, the only thing that you see is basically a piece of code right over there. So actually getting an idea of organizing your project and actually seeing the results of your work is a little, a little more complicated and less organized. And this is even more true when you have a bigger project. When you have a pretty small project, yes, indeed, you can deal with just seeing lines of code because you may just have a, a couple of hundreds lines of code. But as your project grows and the more uh, stuff your game gets, you will need more and more code. Um, so it's going to be actually quite difficult to see th how actually things uh, are seen in reality when your player is actually trying out your game or literally for yourself while you are working while you are working because the only interface that you see is the code and here well you have much more things so it is both a, a matter of let's say preferences that is much better to just take a look at a nice looking user interface than just endless code and also a matter of productivity then the second clear advantage is a built-in physics engine well and actually more stuff that is completely built in inside of uh, engines because adding physics here is super simple. You have, for example, in Goto, the rigid body, and in more engines, you have something similar, even named the same. And you can basically add here a, a collision shape, okay? A sprite to render the image. I will load in the Goto icon over there. I will put here a collision shape. It doesn't matter here the shape. This is just a, a quick example. Okay, let me make this a little bit bigger exactly like this okay then I will put it right over here and after saving the scene as you can see in a matter of a few seconds I do have my physics completely set up and well if I wanted to get this result without an engine it would take much more time and actually customizing this physics is super simple and once again I have the user interface here I can in a matter with just checking and unchecking boxes modifying here a couple of Values. For example, I can give this a, a velocity of uh, 15, so this will move, or well, we'll try to move it to the right, so maybe let's increase it to something like 500, so we actually see it. So, there we go. For example, uh, we would quite uh, easily be able to add a physics material and add friction, bounciness, etc. And well, once again, without an engine, we would have to code our own physics engine, which does have for some people some advantages because it is more customizable because you are doing it from scratch but well of course takes much more time another clear advantage of game engines is the easy cross-platform support that you've got for example here in godot if you go to project export and here you've got a ton of platforms that it, that they are supported in other engines you even have a built-in a console support and it's actually building for these platforms is quite similar. In Windows, it is literally just installing one template from here from the engine and that's all. For Android, you do require a little bit more things, but it is still something that in a couple of minutes, maybe just one, two hours at most, you are going to be having your uh, game in a variety of platforms. And well, porting, exporting, building, etc. Your game, when it is inside of the engine that provides, once again, the user interface and the different tools is a little bit more complicated. And well, this advantage basically englobes all, uh, all uh, the, the things that have been said, but basically engines provide a fast game development. Because everything is basically handy over here, you've got everything in the exact same place. You have console support, uh, sorry, um, platform support. Yes, even some engines do have console support built in. 
you have your physics engine you even have a animation tool shader tools audio tools for getting here your different audios um your different audio buses you've got in the same place 2d 3d uh, environments um you've also got over here the script window even a complete asset library uh so indeed you have much more options here to play around with which indeed makes the game development uh, more efficient and faster now of course everything and nothing is perfect actually so there are some disadvantages um so for example it could be more complex if you are a total total beginner uh maybe getting to understand all this ui uh, all these different tools could be a little bit overwhelming and when you're using no engine once again the only thing that you see is an empty file with literally nothing so it could be easier to start off at least for the your first first game um so yes indeed that's something to consider as well in the long term of course uh, you're going to uh, probably be needing a, a game engine and then that choosing a game engine can be sometimes overwhelming because there are just too many options out there that people sometimes feel a, a little bit uh, overwhelmed by the number of engines out there about the number of different features that each of them uh, offer um, but well so should you use an engine you shouldn't i believe that the 99 percent of the cases the best thing is to use an engine even though there are amazing games that aren't made with an engine and there are developers that don't use an engine if for example you take a look at the top mobile games pc games or whatever they are usually made with some kinds of a game engine so that actually means something so yes i believe that for basically in mostly any case you should always be using a game engine if you want to see similar content make sure that you are subscribed to the channel bye bye